beautiful, why wouldn't you want to use it? You know, it's meant to be used and hopefully the beauty in it inspires somebody to use it instead of want to look at it. So this is referred to as broom corn, um, but it actually comes from um, the sorghum plant. And there's a lot of different methods for making a broom. And this is one that I was first attracted to about five years ago when I first learned how to make brooms. I'm Mary Beth Garmo, and I'm a broom maker and a woodworker. I live in Grand Marais, Minnesota. I love going out in the woods and harvesting the handles. I mean, my perspective on being in the forest has totally changed. Even if I'm just out to enjoy the day, you know, I don't bring a saw or anything. And it's just like, oh, that would make a beautiful broom. Oh my gosh, look at that one. Oh, what if that handle was, and I mean, it's just, my mind is kind of always there. Through the process of making the goods and things that we need to live our lives, we're just getting that much closer to the things around us and appreciating them, understanding them, taking care of them, um, and passing that along. So this is to weave, it's kind of a decorative cap that goes over where I've attached all the broom corn to the broom. And this is the stem of the broom corn plant. I was living and working in a one-room cabin, so it was like half workshop, half life, and clean up so that I could have my evening, and it was very isolating, so it's been, it's been nice to share some space and to have other people making noise and creating and inspiring. Her brooms are incredible. She's a really diligent craftsperson. It's just the, the tension on the strings that it that this last string goes under that's holding everything together. She's very attentive to detail and to um, incorporating tradition into her craft and also um, exploring her own voice in what she's making. It's, it's definitely allowed me to explore some more creativity in what I've been making and it was not a hard decision to stay here for the program. Well, it's been really fun to see what she's come up with. She finds a project and then kind of breaks it down and makes these really great production items, and that's a real skill of hers, and it's really fun to see what the types of items that she's come up with. I get a lot of people who will like stop by while I'm demonstrating or something and they're like, oh, it's a dying craft. I'm like, no, it's alive. It's, it's coming back. It's becoming more and more vibrant and people are just doing fun and amazing stuff with it and keeping them just totally relevant in this world, adding fun colors and doing playful things with handles and um, yeah, just keeping people excited about something that is considered so mundane of an item. I live a pretty modest lifestyle and harvest a lot of what I eat and don't buy new clothes and that kind of thing. And so I don't need a lot. And it's been, so far it's been realistic for me to be able to make brooms, sell brooms, and then teach 